first and foremost, brothers and sisters, I want to give a shout out to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's the Lord of my life. Shout out to YouTube for another opportunity to share. Um, I want to talk to y'all briefly, right, about respect. What I learned, um, everything boils down to respect. A brother told me, or should I say I watched the video where a brother was talking about respect, you know, and I feel, I concur. I feel the same way. I don't go places where I'm not respected. I don't deal with people that don't respect me. And I want to encourage each and every one of you. I don't care if it's a family member. He or she don't respect you, leave them alone. Because the only thing it's going to do, especially if you got a lot of love and respect for them, and they don't respect you, you the one that's going to get bent out of shape. That's why people used to see me with whatever. You don't see me dealing with them no more because it becomes down to a respect issue. I've allowed people over the years to disrespect me, say certain things, and do certain things, and I overlook it because of my love and you know my forgiveness, my mercy. This is where the kindness for weakness come into play. And the grace come into play. I'm like, you know what? My convictions on that scripture is serious about forgiveness, love, tolerance, patience, all that. Uh, shout out to my man Christian TM. He used to call me the apostle of love. Now I would never call myself that, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and everything. I just try to love people uh, the way the Father loves me, and the people I don't deal with no more, just because you don't see me with them and don't deal with them, don't mean I don't love them. It just really came down to a respect issue. And certain people, like I, you know, people I used to deal with religiously, you don't see me with them and everything, because we have a difference of beliefs. Like I said, I don't, I'm not the most obedient one, and I tell anybody that, but I don't pick and choose what I believe in that Bible. Like I told this other brother, I said, I believe in the books that was even taken out of the original scriptures because it was more than 66. Like I said, I'm not the most obedient one, but I believe in it. So for me, I'm like, Yo, you know what? If I'm going to get separated from the father, I'm going to get separated on my lonesome. I ain't going to get separated with you. Meaning that if I know what you're teaching, as far as that script, the, that word is concerned is off and it's wrong. It's not what the, what, what the father is teaching through Jesus. I can't, I don't condone it. I don't get a part of it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how much I love you, boom, boom, boom. And I still love you, whoever it may be. But I just can't, I can't, I can't rock with it. I don't do anything without faith anyway. That's the word. Anything you do without faith is sin. But outside of that, the point of this video is this issue of respect. I've allowed people to disrespect me over the years and I overlook a lot of things. But that's where the kindness and weakness come into place. People, because they know me, they're like, yo, you know what? He's gonna forgive, he's merciful, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's true. But that, that gives them a green light to constantly do a pattern of disrespecting. Certain people I used to know for over 20, 30 years dealt with them. Don't deal with them no more. Because this issue of respect crossing certain boundaries. Because of how I am and I know how a friendship holds to go, I don't overstep my boundaries. I don't go to a level of disrespect. Now, others have disrespected me and I've disrespected back. And I don't believe in disrespect meets disrespect. For me, you disrespect me, and especially if I love you and respect you, I got, I'm got. i going to tell you about it, boom, boom. And if you don't be a man or woman and humble yourself and apologize and, and correct the wrongs of what you wronged me, then I just leave you alone. I walk away. Family or friends. Doesn't mean I don't respect you. Doesn't mean I don't love you. I just won't deal with you because now I can't get, I'm not going to allow you to make me come out of my character. So with that being said, Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Have a great week. What you have to say, Pac-Man? I was telling them about respect. All about respect? Yeah, yeah. I told them, like, yo, you can't deal with people that don't respect you. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is about respect. Like, respect leads to boundaries. There's certain things, because I respect you, I ain't going to say it. I'm definitely not going to do because I respect you. So, once that res respect is, is crossed in that aspect, doesn't mean I don't forgive you. Like this is the Pac-Man here, good brother right here. Y'all remember him on the last video we did months ago when he was acting like he was Charlemagne the God and I was freestyling. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it's all about, y'all. It's all about respect. Now, we are human beings. We mess up and everything like that. But when you have a person that constantly, purposely disrespect, you got to leave them alone. Or what's going to happen is you're going to come out of character. You're going to do something to them that you're going to regret you did. You're going to say something to them that you regret you said and everything and you're the one that's going to get bent out of shape so for me that's why i leave him alone because i don't want i'm not allowing nobody to cause me to come out of character anymore because of your disrespect towards me so brothers and sisters let's respect one another let's forgive one another let's encourage one another but let's respect one another you know i see another black man white man asian man whatever your background culture is 
You know, I'm a hospital person. I'm going to say, hey, how you doing? I don't have to know you to show you love. If you don't show me the love back, that's fine. <laughs> that means leave you alone because <laughs> you might be going through whatever. And that's fine because I know all respect and all love is not reciprocated. But it's cool. But once I show you to you, and you don't want to show it back, then it means leave you alone. All right. So with that being said, listen, today is Monday and two days is going down by the grace of the father. February 8th, it'll be my birthday. I'll be turning that big four, five. Praise Jesus. So, Lord willing, it's going down. Celebration starts tonight, though. And what's so deep about this one in closing, with this birthday coming up, than all my other birthdays, from what I remember, this is the Wednesday was actually the um, the actual day I was really born, because I looked it up. I was born on a Wednesday. Another thing I want to tell y'all, I want to challenge y'all, when your birthdays come up, serve your mother and your father, or if either all is around, serve them if you have. If you don't have, just give praise and thanks to the creator for, for your mother and father who's no longer here that gave you life. But encourage them, because without them, of course, through the father, you and I wouldn't be here. With that being said, peace and blessings. Enjoy the rest of your week. Jesus bless each and every one of you. Peace.